yikes um sorry about the kind of echoey quality about the audio here i had the same setup as i always do but i genuinely think that the plastic on the packaging of this was like so bubbly and so much that it distorted the audio being captured it does only last while i'm kind of talking about the packaging and it does get better once i actually unbox the doll so i'm really really sorry um just kind of bear with it or skip if you need to again sorry about that didn't know that was gonna happen but um life is life so i hope you can still enjoy so i am very very excited to be able to look at a new doll brand with you guys today and that is obviously gonna be mermaid high so i uh love mermaids so much so when i found out that this was going to be a doll line that was launching i was very very excited just because i love mermaids like i've always loved mermaids since i was a little kid i just am so fascinated by the idea of being able to live and breathe underwater and it's just so fun for me so this was absolutely a must buy i had to pick up at least one to kind of check the line out and see what they're all about and see if i like them enough to buy more so i picked up my personal favorite I do think that she is not most people's personal favorite because I think that some of the elements are not what most people would think of when they think mermaid or they're not what people like as much. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, her name is Mary. She's definitely my favorite. I was very, very excited to kind of see an edgy mermaid theme. I just think that's interesting and also for it being their first release, I feel like usually kind of edgier characters might come along a little bit later. So it was cool to see her right off the bat. So yeah, this is her in the box. I do love the box. I'm not usually a really big box person. Like they don't always matter very much to me just because I collect dolls out of box. So I won't be keeping her in box, but I do think it's cool that we have like this bubble front. Obviously it's very thematic, but I really, really love how she's positioned in box. So she's not just standing straight up, how she kind of looks like she's already swimming. I just think it's a little bit more dynamic and fascinating and it's obviously kind of more fun and eye-catching for kids but also for collectors as well so very very big fan of that i'm excited to be able to get her out then the back of the box here got a whole bunch of artwork and then a little introduction for all of the other girls in the line so there's also finley sierra and oceana I'm thinking about picking up Finley, not 100% sure. We'll see if I can find her and then also how I feel about Mary here. And then on the side, we also have more detailed art of her in her mermaid form. So yeah, there is also, I believe, a YouTube series that's going along with this. Much like all of the other dolls that have a YouTube series, it's not really something that I typically engage in, so I'm not planning on watching it, but I hope that other people can enjoy it. I, you know, I know that that's a good marketing tactic for doll lines for there to be an accompanying show, so I totally understand. I am kind of over the high thing. This also came up when Rainbow High was introduced, where it's like Monster High was very successful, Ever After High was very successful, so lines are kind of building off of that. I would like a different concept. Uh, I think that's cool. Like I said, it doesn't matter for me as much because I'm not watching the show, so the show, like, concept isn't going to be repetitive for me, but just the name, I'm kind of like, guys, we gotta figure out something new. But, aside from that, very excited for a line of mermaid dolls, very excited for Mary here, or Mari. I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it, Mari. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her off camera, and I'll be right back with you guys to take a look at what she comes with. Very exciting, see you in a sec. Okay, and here we are with Mari all unboxed. We have a really cute shell comb here i like the sculpting like i said i love mermaids i'm kind of just biased towards anything sea themed i think is fun so it's a basic comb but i actually really like the design of it and then we have this so on the box it said shell opens in water surprise inside i was able to just open it with my hands and it had her earrings inside which we'll take a look at in a second here but i do just want to know if it will open in water so i have this and I'm, I'm a little curious. Okay. I mean, it's under. I'm like afraid it's gonna splash everywhere. Okay, nothing yet. So while we wait for that, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the earrings that were in it. They are just black, but they are kind of molded to look like shark teeth, which I think is pretty fun. It definitely fits both the like sea aesthetic but also kind of giving it an edgy vibe so i think that, that was a really fun addition her purse here 
is non-functional. It has a molded on zipper, but it doesn't actually open the tentacle handle and then a print of a skeleton mermaid on the front. So kind of disappointing that it doesn't actually work, but I do think it's a fun little purse. Oh! Oh, there it goes. Okay. So this is also, I was a little bit nervous to do this, but I mean, it said to do this in the instructions. So I figure it has to be okay, right? So it popped open. I'm very excited that that worked. And then on the inside, I don't want to drip water everywhere. So it's a little computer. Like I said, her earrings were in here, but it still is like a little computer with a little shell shaped trackpad. And then you can see Mari and her friend on the screen. So that's pretty cute. And I was nervous that the sticker was gonna come off in the water, but so far so good. So that's actually pretty fun. I'm surprised and pleased that the little open and water gimmick actually works. I think that a kid would have a lot of fun with that. Then we've got her sunglasses here. Sort of transparent there. They do have like a little black tentacle weaving around the side here. Very, very cute. And then the other stuff we're gonna look at when I change her into her human form. But first we have to take a look at Mari herself. So right off the bat, we've got long, beautiful hair. It is just straight. Her style is like a little more boring than some of the other girls. I will say that I hate the bang um, a lot. <laughs> it's super gelled down. It's just super thick and very, very blunt. And I don't even mind the bluntness, but I think it's just so close to her eyes. Something has to be done about this bang. I'm definitely gonna cut it down and um, try to improve it a little bit. It has potential. At least it's erring on the side of being too long so I can cut it and kind of fix it to my taste instead of it being really, really short and not attractive. So could be a lot worse. When it comes to the rooting, I actually haven't looked so I guess we're gonna find out. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good rooting. I feel like I can't complain, especially with the problems we've been seeing with like Rainbow High and their rooting. That's, that's a lot better. I like that a lot more. There is a little bit of a bald spot here, but I think that's because that's where her like headpiece is tied on. I don't think that it's actually rooted necessarily as thinly, so much as the piece is just pulling at the worst possible spot, if that makes sense. But overall, the rooting looks pretty, pretty standard. Obviously it could be a lot thicker if this was like a custom doll, but for a store-bought doll, not too shabby. I've like completely, completely messed up her hair now. So if you see this, that's on me. That's, that's my fault, sorry. <laughs> As for her face, it is just printed on. You can see in the light, kind of like the shine of the print, there is like a little extra glue or something on her face that I think some acetone would take off very easily. She's got a bold, vibrant lip. I will say I think that mine looks printed pretty well. I did order online, so I wasn't sure how she was gonna look, but can't really complain about that. Cute little necklace. We do have her top here. So it is all one piece, but we've got a bunch of different fabrics going on. The blue part is actually kind of a faux leather material. I thought it was just gonna be cotton, but it's got a little texture to it. We've got sewn on ribbon and then the mesh panel up here. The ribbon is also loose on the top, so I guess if you wanted, you could maybe like pull them down as like an off the shoulder. I don't know, kind of fun though. I do like that we have different materials in the top. It's not just all one printed thing. We've got elbow articulation and rotation, and then she does have rotation and articulation in her shoulder as well. I do have a scuff, which is sad, heartbreaking. I can't even like pull that off. But yeah, like a little bit of extra plastic here and a little dent in the molding of her arm, which again, that's that's pretty heartbreaking. I'm pretty sad. Something that you might be able to notice in store if you're picking her up, but considering that I ordered her, couldn't really avoid that. So that's quite disappointing. We also don't have wrist articulation. So her hand is just stuck in this position. You can't rotate or pull or anything. But on the brighter side, we've got a nice cute bracelet here. Kind of a vaguely rubbery material. Three different colors, which I do like. It's not, you know, all the same again. We've got a little bit of distinction between the three bands that she's wearing, if it'll focus. So that's nice. Then her tail. So we have first off like this little belt going around it. 
I say belt very, very loosely. It's actually a whole bunch of chains functioning as a belt, I guess you would say. It is also rubbery. I was expecting more of a solid plastic, but it's very bendy. Her tail. Oh my god, her tail! So this is the part that I think might have been turning like people off of Mari, was the sort of cage printing on her tail. I feel like it's probably supposed to be, like the cage might be a fashion element and it's just printed on for like cost purposes. Or that could be the print of her tail. I don't really know. I just like the idea of a punk mermaid so much that it honestly didn't bother me, which I'm a little surprised by, but thank you Brain for letting me enjoy this. We do also have, you can kind of see, a little bit of iridescence to her scales here. So there's like pink shimmering up here and it kind of goes through the rainbow. So it's a little bit more orange than to green, which I think is very, very pretty. And then her fins are a bunch of different layers of different material. And I feel like fins are always hard to do with a mermaid doll. I feel like no one can ever quite agree on how is the best way to do fins. I personally really like fins like this. I can't even catch it in shot because they're so big and wide and voluptuous. I like them a lot. I think that they look really cool. I think that, you know, it's hard to do fins. It's a fishy thing that you're trying to make out of fabric. So it is very difficult to execute. This is personally my favorite way that people execute it. I don't like it when it's shaped so much. I like this kind of loose flowiness. It's just fun. And we've got a lot of, you know, iridescence and different colors and the fabrics there. So I'm a really, really big fan of her tail. I, <laughs> I like it a lot. I think it's so cute. But we do have, you know, the human version that we're going to have to take a look at and also look at the articulation under her tail. So give me just one second. I'll be right back with a uh, human Mari. Okay, here we go. So I did go ahead and throw on her earrings. Took a while, a little bit difficult, but we got them in there. And then her sunglasses, which again, I think are gonna look a lot better once I fix her bangs. <laughs> then we do have a skirt here. I do like the tentacle print that we've got going on here. We have printed safety pins. Again, kind of a leathery material here. And then this side is actually woven material, which is very, very interesting. It's got kind of like that basket weave sort of texture, different colors going through there and actually woven. So that's really, really cool. There's like a weird amount of detail on her clothing compared to, I feel like the rest of her. Don't know what that's all about. We have knee articulation and hip articulation out this far and then back and forth. So like pretty standard movement that way, I would say. No ankle articulation. And also I kind of got this feeling from the arms, but now that I have a lot more like exposed doll with the legs, it is like very, very cheap plastic. It feels very cheap. <laughs> Which um, we're gonna talk price in a second because I do have some feelings. But yeah, this, it does not feel, like when I held Monster High dolls or when I hold a Rainbow High doll, it feels a little bit more weighty, a little bit more high quality of material. And the doll herself is definitely pretty cheap plastic. But moving down to a bit more of a positive, we've got her shoes here. They are all just molded out of the one color, which is kind of sad, but the molding is really, really fun. All the buckles and then the little scales on her platform and her heel, I think is super fun. Her human look, not as, exciting to me personally as her tail over here but i do think it's nice i think that it fits her theme i think that it looks good overall i really really like her design um but the price point not too happy with that this is a 26 almost 27 dollar doll and frankly she's not worth that price i do love a lot about her and i would absolutely pay like 20 dollars for this doll or another doll from this line but with the quality of the plastic, with the fact that a lot of her accessories are just one color or are just like molded, like the purse doesn't have an actual opening to it. There's no stand to this doll. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like she's worth $27. And I feel bad saying that because like I said, I like the concept. I like the design. And frankly, I do want, I think Finley is probably my second favorite. I want to get Finley but I just don't wanna pay $27 because that's the same price as 
a Rainbow High doll. And I'm not trying to glorify Rainbow High because they absolutely have their issues too. But that's the same price point and it's another doll in the market that I review a lot that I know a lot about. So comparing to Rainbow High for the same price, you get two full outfits, you get the stand, you get inset eyes and rooted lashes. Like there's a lot more to that compared to Mermaid High. So I just, I can't say that it's just a glowing review because when you compare it to other things on the market, even LOL OMG, I don't have as many of those so I don't know as much about them, but they're kind of a similar price point and they're so much more detailed and intricate and they feel like the plastic feels higher quality. She's not a perfect doll. I do still really like her. I still might pick up Finley, especially if I can get her on sale in like a couple weeks or a couple months. If she goes on sale, that would be spectacular. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with all of this. Definitely please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about Mari specifically and about the line overall. I, I had really high hopes and I feel like they weren't 100% met, but I'm not completely writing off Mermaid High. I still think that it could be good. I still think that I enjoy it. I'm just mostly iffy about the price. So yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and do give it a like. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I'll catch you next week in the next video. Bye guys.